Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Uncharted 4 Crushing Difficulty walkthrough and this is chapter 5, also known as Hector Alcazar. And this chapter is a flashback because Sam is telling Nate about how he managed to escape from prison. Because as you may know, he did not make it out with Nate and Rafe when they did their big escape after finding the cross. Instead, he got stuck. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go into too much details on what happened. Just know that 15 years have passed and he shared a cell with a drug lord called Hector Alcazar, the guy handing the gun to him right now. And while they were in their cell, Sam told Alcazar about Avery's treasure and that he wants to go out and find it. So when when Alcazar's private army comes to break him free, he decides to take Sam with him. And this chapter is more or less one long gunfight. It's there to show you more a more in-depth tutorial on how the gunplay works in this game. And I actually started thinking about something when I watched this episode prior to uploading it or prior to uh, narrating it. Because I'm not a hundred percent sure that you can die in this chapter. I assume you can. I just never have. <laughs> and the weird thing is since when you're playing this you can hear Sam telling Nate about things so it is him telling the story about how he made his escape so because something very strange happens at the end of this video I made a mistake quite a big mistake where I should have been dead and I didn't and I don't know if it's the game just being merciful or if it is impossible to die I don't think it is I assume you can die in ev almost all the chapters in this game, or at least all the ones that have any kind of hazards. But when I get to the last part of this, I jump over a fence and into a courtyard, and I get shot. A lot. <laughs> and I don't die. Actually, even at the end of this chapter, I had to pause the game and check so it hadn't taken down the difficulty from crushing because that actually happened to me I don't know if I mentioned it before the first time I played through this game on crushing on one chapter the game had for some reason I assume it was due to me dying a lot on that chapter it had taken down the difficulty from crushing too hard and I was a bit unsure if that had happened again for some weird reason. I don't know why it happened the first time. If it was due to me dying or if it was just a glitch. It was when the game had been out for just a few days. So I checked from time to time during the recording of this walkthrough. So that hadn't happened to me again. But also if that were to happen to you if you get through this game on crushing and you don't get the trophy then this is what worked for me back then because I was I was furious of course because this is quite a hard game when you're playing it on the highest difficulty so I tried something I went into chapter select and I saw that the game, uh, the only chapter that wasn't beaten on crushing was, I think it was chapter 17 or something, the convoy chapter. Just a quick note here, this is the best fence in the history of gaming. It is made of probably hollow steel bars and mesh and it's absolutely bulletproof. <laughs> Now, that's game design for you. <laughs> but anyway, I think it was chapter 17. The one where you uh, get dragged behind a truck and you get up on a convoy and a lot of shit like that. I think it's chapter 17. Anyway, what I did was I replayed that chapter on crushing via chapter select. And then the trophy popped. Which 
really made me happy because I wouldn't want, wouldn't have wanted to replay the entire game at that time because I was quite fed up with it at that point. I think it was my third playthrough in just a couple of days. And also, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, or in two of my previous videos, I said that the speedrun you had... If you're going for the Platinum, you have to do a speedrun. And I said that you had to beat it in seven and a half hours. That was a mistake on my part. I actually looked it up in the trophy list. It's six hours. Not six and a half, not seven, not seven and a half. It's six hours flat. You have to beat it in. And when I beat it, I think I did it with like 15 minutes to spare or something, or 20 minutes. So it's not that hard. The only hard parts, and also if you're going for the speedrun, play it on Explorer difficulty. Because the strategies I use in the fights are at times quite passive. Because I, as I've mentioned earlier, this is by far the hardest game in the series. But it is also the only game, or I don't know if it works for The Lost Legacy as well. But you can play it on Explorer difficulty and still unlock trophies. And that's what differentiates it from the previous games. Because in Uncharted 1, 2 and 3, if you play it on Explorer difficulty, it would lock all trophies. So you couldn't use that to get any trophies you were missing, like killing, what is it? 50 or 60 enemies in a row without dying. But if you're going for the speedrun, this can be helpful for the platforming parts so you don't have to run around all day. Because that's what that's what will eat up time when you're playing on Explorer. Because you have aim lock on that difficulty and the roles are reversed. Because something about this game, I think I've talked about this earlier as well, but it's worth mentioning once again. Is that your weapons, when you're playing on this difficulty, don't do that much damage. <laughs> Which I think is a bit of a mistake when it comes to the design. Because that is the difference between this and the first three games in the series. That even though when you're playing on the higher difficulties, you're still... You still felt empowered whenever you fired a gun. Unless if you were playing Uncharted 1 and you tried firing the AK-47 because that weapon is a piece of shit in that game. And this game's version of that AK-47 is the Uzi. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called in this game. You will see me using it from time to time in this walkthrough. It's not a weapon I recommend. <laughs> because it's absolutely terrible. It has about the same damage output as the nerf gun as n that Nate was playing with in his attic. <laughs> but I managed to get through the game and record his walkthrough even though I used it from time to time. So that says more about the strategies I show will show you through this guide than, <laughs> than the game or my skill. Because the strategies I've put together, it's also something I've said earlier, are the absolute easiest ways I could find to get through most of these fights. Sometimes it's just, sadly, a war of attrition because I couldn't find a better, <laughs> quicker way to do it that is not reliant on skill. And I try to make my guides reliant as little on skill as possible, if you get what I mean. And here we come up to my mistake that I make in uh, this chapter. Because I shoot down this guy. I thought he was the last one. I see one more guy over there. And there we have two guys down here. And I'm just firing in panic. I should be dead right now. And that's what makes me think that you cannot die in this chapter. Because you saw the screen go all black and white, which means you're close to death. I get fired a bunch of more times, it turned even more black and white. But for some reason, it didn't kill me. If you know how it works, please let me know in the comments. But that is the end of chapter 5, and I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman, signing off.